How's it going, everybody? This is Pete Burak. I'm the director of ID, part of Renewal Ministries. Uh, excited to share a word that the Lord has put on my heart for you today. Uh, as we know, a lot's going on. Well, first I should say, welcome to the Burak family basement. We've been making much good use of this space, as you can imagine, during this, this time with COVID and Corona and everything going on. Uh, it's been a godsend, actually, to be able to play down here. And it's um, one thing we've had to learn. There's been a lesson in uh, keeping the house going, a certain patience that uh, old rhythms have had to die, new rhythms are emerging, uh, new habits are having to be formed to deal with this situation, and it's testing us. It's testing our patience, it's testing our, our pride in wanting things to be a certain way, uh, and it's, it's just been a good moment of reflection of uh, what rock am I standing on? Am I standing on myself and my own desires and my own understanding of how life should go? Or am I standing on Jesus and his will for my life? And in my prayer time, um, I've been just seeking the Lord for wisdom on how to navigate these times. And he brought me to a passage that has directed me for many times throughout my life. And it's an oldie but a goodie. And it's from a book that many of you, I'm sure, have read many times. But it's from uh, the book of Sirach, which is just after wisdom. Kind of right in the middle of the Bible there, if you need a little refresher. And this is uh, Sirach chapter 2. My son or daughter, if you come forward to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. Another translation is prepare yourself for a trial. Set your heart right and be steadfast and do not be hasty in time of calamity. Cleave to him and do not depart that you may be honored at the end of your life. Accept whatever is brought upon you. Here's the key line. And in changes that humble you, be patient, for gold is tested in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of humiliation. Trust in him, and he will help you make your way straight and hope in him. There's so much to unpack in that, but in just a couple minutes, the main thing I wanted to focus on is accept whatever is brought upon you, and in changes that humble you, be patient. The first word I feel like the Lord has for us today is patience. Patience, patience, patience. Waiting on the Lord. Sometimes it seems like we're waiting a long time. Sometimes he answers our prayers right away. Sometimes it doesn't even seem like he answers our prayers at all. But patience is born out of trust, and trust is born out of love. And so if you're struggling to be uh, patient, and that's one of the fruits of the Spirit, I would suggest two things. One, to ask for more of the Holy Spirit to be in your life, to pray, come Holy Spirit, because it's a fruit of the Spirit, so where the Spirit of the Lord it is, there will be patience. But also to just spend in this time, if you're, if you're struggling with patience and accepting what has been brought upon us, which means it might be a, a struggle with trust in God's plan in the midst of all this. And the way we can trust more is when we know we're loved and we know we're loved by a good father and the good son. And the way we know that is by spending more time with them. So it can almost seem... Uh, counterintuitive, but the, the thing to grow in patience is to be patient with the Lord, to wait on the Lord to speak, to be with him, to say, Jesus, I love you enough to wait on you. I love you enough to, to sit with you, even if I don't experience anything, even if I don't sense anything, even if I don't hear a single word from you, Lord Jesus, I love you. I know that you're good. I proclaim your goodness. I proclaim your majesty. I proclaim your love for me and your plan for me. And I'm going to wait on you. That's the first thing. Second thing is, for gold is tested in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of humiliation. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to sign up for the furnace of humiliation. Nobody's saying, yeah, put me in that fire, you know. Man, I just can't wait to be humiliated. But the key thing is, is when we find ourselves in these moments where we are being humiliated, where we are being stripped of our attachments, where some of the things that we rely on for our identity, for our, uh, for our purpose, for our vision, for our life are, are no longer there, and it's challenging us, and we're having to learn new things. What's, what can get us through is remembering how God sees us. You don't put garbage in a fire to purify it. You put garbage in a fire to destroy it. You don't put coal in a fire to purify it. You put coal in a fire so that it can be exhausted, right? And it can actually feed the fire. You put gold in a fire to purify it to make it more fully what it is supposed to be. So when we find ourselves in a furnace of humiliation, this is when we need patience to recognize that God can take any situation, 
even furnaces that were maybe not of his direct willing, right? Furnaces where maybe we've created a situation where now we're uh, being purified by our own actions. The Lord can take those things, transform them, and help us become more and more the gold that he created us to be, the gold that he sees us as. God allows fires and even sometimes helps us step into the fire of humiliation, the furnace of humiliation, to purify us because he knows who we are. He knows where, we're, where he wants us to go. And he knows that purification is necessary for us to get there. So in this time, I just encourage you to, to lean into Sirach chapter 2, to cleave to him and do not depart, to be patient and accept what is brought upon us. And to, when we find ourselves in the furnace of humiliation and the, just the furnace of, of things that are purifying us around us, to recognize that we are gold. That's who the Lord sees us. That's how the Lord sees us. And that's who we truly are when we cleave to him, when we were transformed by his love, and when we become holy as he is holy. You're in our prayers. God bless.